snap, clap. Snap, clap, snap. Snappity snap, 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 clap. I think that confuses my editing software, but I <laughs> just like doing it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to DigiDaily. It's your boy, Xander. I'm back. Remember, we take weekends off here, okay? That's what we do around here. It's Monday now. I'm filming this Sunday night, however. This weekend uh, was just a chill weekend. I'm really happy about that. Uh, next weekend is going to be Valentine's Day, so I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day, but we'll get to that later. We do have stuff to talk about. There it is. I'm looking for my little baby. We have him, everyone. We have the doo-doo boy. Dookie doo-doo boy. Look at him. Beautiful. He is just beautiful. Um, as you can see, he's five years old. I don't know why this is taking so long. I feel like this, this run is taking longer than the last run I did all this. I don't know why. It just is. Could be... You know what? I don't know what the hell it is. Um, I have no theories here. It, it's just taking a while. But it's working. You know, I was worried it wasn't going to evolve. But it's working. We don't have any camera sticks yet, which is good. I think you're maybe allowed one or two, but we're trying, going to try not to get any. Uh, the goal here, once you're in the trash zone, um, best care. So, no care mistakes, really high win ratio, and that's it. So, you know, no sleep disturbances, try not to get any overfeeds, just best care, uh, and that is kind of it, that's all I can say. Over here, last time I checked, unless it's going to start adding uh, steps again. Oh, no, huh? I was uh, dicking around in one of the other maps over here, and yeah, 900. We can, we can bang that out, right? I don't think we can. So something I noticed, something I found out about the Digivice version complete is this device has newer animations, but I found out, I, I thought it was for everyone. I thought, oh, that's so cool, you know, because I only saw it so far with, with Algumon, and then I also saw it with Gabumon recently. So I'm thinking like, oh, that's so cool, you know, um, it's got new animations that are more, you know, close to how they look like in the show in this device that's so cool yes but it's only for Algumon and Gabumon it's not for everyone else which is like cool in the sense that I can show you guys the original animation not cool in the sense that like you know if you like Agumon and Gabumon which I mean who doesn't but at the same time it's just like people like the other ones too they get these cool new evolutions everyone else just gets like nothing <laughs> Um, at least, well, you know what? I, I shouldn't say that. At least they all do get their mega evolutions. But that's not a plus for some people. Because I, I remember when that episode of Tri came out. A lot of people weren't happy about some of the mega evolutions that were chosen. I don't know why. Some people just didn't like them. I know, I think it was Vikemon. Isn't that, is that Ukakumon's mega? Or Gobamon? I think that's, it's Vikemon, right? A lot of people weren't happy about that one. They wanted uh, another one. I think they wanted either Plesiomon or someone else. But the Megas that were chosen for Try, I believe, were already chosen for these characters in the PSP game. They're exactly the same, if I'm not mistaken. So a lot of people were already guessing that we were going to get the PSP evolutions. I have seen the PSP evolution before Try, so I was expecting the same. I think the only one that was a little bit disappointing was Rosemon. I think Rafflesimon, not Rafflesimon, Lotusmon. I think Lotusmon would have been a more interesting choice just because we've never seen that character before. We've seen Rosemon before as someone else's partner Digimon's and Mega Evolution in Savers. So that was a little, like I said, a little disappointing. Here's something. I finally did it. I ripped the Band-Aid off. I watched Kizuna. And I cried like a little bitch really hard a couple times. It was, I, I knew it was going to be a difficult movie to watch just given the amount of emotions and also just the amount of history that we had. Oh, there we go. Jeez. Fighting. Uh, now we're finally, for some reason, like, I feel like we should have been fighting him. Oh, we don't got enough wins for her i mean she was able to do it in the anime we'll try to do it here i remember them fighting um Kuagamon first but now we're finally fighting Kuagamon. it's very strange whoa 
I must have got that one hit kill item in my last battle I had. Wow. <sighs> no spoilers. Uh, I will be talking about Kazuna today, but there will be no spoilers. Don't worry. Um, if you want my recommendation or my review, I'll give it to you. But, if, you know, watch it. Why the hell won't you watch it? I mean, if you're afraid because Try was disappointing, nah. Kazuna is amazing. Um, I knew it was going to be amazing when Cinnabali, who is not a fan of Try at all, um, liked it a lot. So I had a feeling it was going to be good. And it was. And it is emotional. It's hard not to be emotional, um, not only in the way that it's written, but also just, you know, there's so much history between these characters. I mean, we, we I mean, I literally grew up with these characters. When Tri came out, I was just going into college. And now that Kazuna came out, I had just finished um, college. I finished my associates. So you know, it, it's hard not to kind of put yourself in the shoes of these characters and what they're going through, because I know how it feels. I'm going through it right now. There's a scene in the beginning where you kind of get a glimpse at what Ty and Matt are going through, and it's just like, man, same, dude. <laughs> I don't want to get too into, you know, little minute things that happen, because I do want you guys to be able to enjoy it. But um, yeah, I, I cried really hard. It was a, an emotional journey. It, it focuses mostly on Ty and Matt. Then again, most of Digimon is focused on Ty and Matt. So it's nothing that's really too different. And I don't really have any issues with that. Um, you know, Sora is not in the movie very much. I think that's a minor spoiler. Sorry. But I think I know why. I think it's because her voice actress did pass away. I think sometime after Tri finished. Uh, I think she passed away sometime around the same time that Koji Wada died. So I think that's why she's not in the movie as much. She does get her own little side story uh, in those shorts that they produced. Sadly, for some reason, no one's put like the Blu-ray out there. They all came out and they're all together on a Blu-ray, but they haven't been subbed yet from my knowledge. Only the first episode. There are five total. Um, hopefully they come out soon because I'd like to see them. But um, yeah, that prequel goes into what's going on with Sora, which is nice. Um, you get to see what's going on with, with her and it, it's fine. I, I, I like the fact that they at least gave us an explanation of what's going on with her. But I totally understand why she was not in the movie very much. Because again, I think it has to do with the fact that her voice actress did pass away. Oh, here we go. Tyrannomon. Um, Mamoru Husoda, right? Or Hisoka? Um, the the director of the first two um, Digimon like movies, War War Game and Digimon Adventure, which was the first two parts of the American Digimon movie, he wrote these characters with this like love and care that Try really was missing. As someone who again enjoyed Try, this movie blows it out of the water for sure. That this movie is what i wanted out of try and then some and the emotional gravity in this movie is just amazing it's like the writing and everything it's really good it's it, it is a really it does go by kind of fast but at the same time you know try drags the fuck on something like our war game i can still just like pop in i just watch it you know it's a really well done movie. It's not too long. It's not too short, in my opinion. I think it's perfect. It's like a perfect little story that, you know, kind of takes place after adventure. It's like, oh, you know, what did they do after, you know, a, like a, a couple months or a year after they beat Apocalypse? And this is what happens, you know? And it's, it's a nice story. And I feel like that's this movie is very much like that, where it's just like, you know, what are these kids doing now that they are older? They're dealing with being older, figuring out their life. They're almost done with college. Where are they going to go? What are they going to do? They're still digi-destined and people are saying like, oh, you guys are heroes. And they're like, they don't feel like it. They don't feel special. But people are telling them they feel special. And like, God damn it again. Like, so yeah, um, it's really good. It's good. I cried. I think that's all I can say without getting into spoilers. I think I definitely, I definitely want to do like a, a video, like a proper review of Kizuna because it really like it touched me emotionally in a way that 
personally, I feel like nothing else in Digimon really, maybe Tamers, really like like just like resonated with me on an emotional level. Uh, Kizuna just hits that so well on the head without getting in the way. Like it's it's woven into the narrative so perfectly that I just feel like you know i'm just so in awe by the fact that they were able to to pull off a fairly i wouldn't say depressing topic they, it is a fairly depressing topic but they don't make it depressing and it really is you know growing up and i again i i feel like it kind of harkens back to the soul of the digimon franchise which is the v pets I have them right here without spoiling anything we know when we play these that it is something that we're gonna have we're gonna have to take care of this you know i have to take care of sukumon if i take care of him really well he will evolve into edamon but after he evolves into edamon he can't go any further and at some point he's going to die he's going to pass away and I have to move on from that. Either I can start a new run, I can keep going with my life, or I can put it down and find something else to do. But I still have to move on from that. And that is something that's at the heart of Digimon. The V Pets are the beginning of this entire franchise. And I feel like this movie kind of harkens back to that idea that change is inevitable and growing is inevitable and you have to move on from that you know i love it you know if you've seen the movie you know what are you going to do tomorrow it's a very powerful question now because it's true what are you going to do tomorrow i don't know <laughs> oh hey look just talking about him and there he is Edamon. We got Padawan on deck, and we will evolve. This is the same evolution animation as the original Digivice 01, uh, or D2. You know what I mean. So, yeah, that's the original evolution. There's no, like, you know, boom, and the thing comes down, the spinnies. None of that. That was how it looked like back in the day. Uh, Edamon looks terrifying. The hell is that? Bah. Punch that monkey in the fucking face, boy. <laughs> he looks really creepy. He looks like more like a monkey, but just not like I don't know. He looks creepy. Like he looks like a scary monkey. He doesn't look like a Edamon's like got this kind of somewhat cute quality to him. That, that nah, that's not cute. I don't like that. It's creepy. Sorry, thought I heard something. Oh, hey, there we go. We beat this, and so now it's clear. So now, if I go to maps, there we go. We are now on Boulder Continent. So we are on File Island. That is the first place they're at in uh, Adventure 1. And now we're on Folder Continent. Now, normally, after you beat these three on the original Digivice, uh, the Digivice version 1 and 2, if I'm not mistaken, that's pretty much it. That's all you can do. Um, at that point, you can just like kind of grind out battles, try to get everyone's evolutions, and then that's really it. On the 15th, they added a third map, which is our war game. It's the net. I think it's only one like like dot on the map. It's not like a mul there's not like multiple places on this map. It's just one dot, and that's like the net. And you fight like Diaboramon. And then that was it for the 15th. I believe all of them the original the anime original color the war Greymon and metal Gururumon color all of them i think they stop at our war game this one however after you beat our war game and you go into the net then you fight or you go to try which i think is only one map on this and then after but that map i think has like a couple dots i think maybe three or four and then you move on to Kizuna, which I think is also one map. 
and I believe that's like our war game where it's, where it's just one dot. Um, and then that's it for this device. Uh, but then, of course, we're going to have to do some grinding. We're going to have to try to get Alphamon. We're going to have to try to get Alphamon Merciful Mode. Alphamon? Omnimon. My bad. Omnimon Merciful Mode. Omnimon itself. We got to try to get Tailmon, Makumon, Wizardmon, Hackmon. I think that's it. Just those four are the help wave Digimon on this device, at least. And uh, yeah, one last thing before we go, I actually wanted to show this off earlier. I totally forgot. It's been laying down here. I just forgot it, it was here. Um, so you guys saw the hoodie. I should have wore it today, but I, I'm i gonna go like right back. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll be honest with you. I'm going right to sleep after this and I'm probably gonna sleep in this. <laughs> so that's why I'm wearing it. Um, but either way, we've seen the hoodie. If you haven't, uh, I'll leave a card to one of the videos where I have the hoodie on, uh, which is with the new DigiDaily logo, which you might've seen on the thumbnail. Also on the merch shelf that we're gonna have is the DigiDaily die cut sticker. I really like this. It's a little, I try to rasterize it as much as possible. I think it's a little weird in some spots, but I don't think it's that noticeable. Um, this is nice. I like this a lot. And again, this is the new DigiDaily Try logo. Uh, I really like how this turned out. I really love it. I cannot wait now for this damn shirt to come in. That's the last thing I'm waiting on. And once I see the shirt, and if I like how the shirt looks, we're going to launch the merch. It'll be available on Teespring. I'll have a link to it. It'll actually be on the bottom of all my videos. Should be what YouTube calls the merch shelf. And it'll be like these. And you can just click it. It'll take a shirt to Teespring. And you get to go buy it. Oops. So, yeah, I, I, I think that's how it works. I hope that's how it works. I think the t-shirt should be coming tomorrow. Um, that's what I was told. So, if it does come tomorrow, I mean, you'll see it. I'll be wearing it for sure. So, yeah, again, if it looks good and I like the printing quality and how it looks, we're moving right on up to, uh, to getting that done and find them releasing it and then you guys can buy it yourselves so yeah that's really exciting i'm just so excited we're gonna have merch soon this is so cool i'm gonna be making another variant of this design that just says xanadu on it so that i don't know just a different variant um i'm still working on that because i kind of want it to look different but at the same time like do i want it to look super different i'm like of two minds about that still but either way there will be another kind of more merch coming very soon after this wave that's it for real i gotta go i gotta edit this uh thank god i have work later on in the day tomorrow but um that's it thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it go watch kazuna if you haven't yet you will cry but it's a good cry and um yeah good night take care of yourselves wear your mask drink your water all that good stuff Thanks for supporting the channel, like always. If you're not subscribed, god damn it, subscribe already. How many times did I tell you this shit? I'm getting tired of this. I don't wanna see that no more. I don't wanna see no 60% not subscribed. Crazy, y'all crazy. I can't. All right, peace.